Okay, finding the equation of a tangent line to a graph at a given x value. So in this example, you can see that we have f of x is 4x plus 11 minus 7 times e to the x power. So we need two components to get the equation of this tangent line. We need an ordered pair, a point that's on our graph when x is 0. To get that, I'm going to evaluate our original function as 0 to make that into an ordered pair. And then we need the slope of our line. The slope of our line we're going to get by taking the derivative of the original function and then evaluating the derivative at zero at that same given x value. So first let's find the point. So I'm going to plug in zero into the original function. So we go four times zero plus 11 minus seven times e to the zero power. So the four times zero shouldn't be too bad. That part becomes zero. So we'll bring along that's going to be 11 minus seven, and then e to the zero power, our exponent rule, hopefully you'll recall, anything raised to the zero power is gonna be a one. So we get 11 minus seven is gonna make four. So our ordered pair here is gonna be, we had an x value of zero and a y value, an output value of four. That takes care of the ordered pair, the point that we need to find this line. Next, let's find the derivative. So kind of one term at a time here, let's take the derivative. So the first term here, the 4x, we can bring the 4 along. That x is raised to the first power. So the power rule says we can bring the exponent down. 1 comes down. And then this will be x to the 0 power as we reduce the exponent by 1. 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0. The next term, we have that plus 11. Well, that's a constant. The derivative of a constant is always going to be 0. And then finally, we can bring along that minus seven for this last term. The derivative of e to the x is always gonna be the exact same, e to the x. So cleaning this up just a little bit before we evaluate it, we can say four times one is four, x to the zero power, again, anything raised to the zero power is gonna be a one. So this is really four times one, but I don't have to write four multiplied by one. The plus zero, well, we can drop that part. And then we can bring along the minus 7e to the x power. Finally, evaluating the derivative at 0, what we're going to want to do is we're going to plug in 0 where our x is. So again, we have 4 minus 7 times anything to the 0 power is going to be 1. This works out to be 4 minus 7 is negative 3 for the slope of our line. All right, recall that the slope of our line is given by the derivative evaluated at that given num number. Now I'm using the y equals mxb um, form of a line. This is the slope intercept form where b is our y intercept. And I'm choosing to use this instead of the point slope just because most students tend to remember this one a little bit easier. So to use it, what I wanna do is I'm going to fill in my slope is gonna be negative three. So that goes in for m. The rest of this is going to get filled in with that point. Okay, the point 0, 4 that's on our graph. We have an x value and we have a y value. So what I'm going to do is fill in for y in my formula with 4 and for x in the formula with 0. Now this one won't, won't be very difficult to solve down for b because we end up having 4 equals negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus b, so b is going to be 4. Putting these pieces of information together, I'm going to say our b value is uh, 4, so I'm going to put a plus 4 at the end. Our slope is negative 3, and then I'm going to put x and y back in their places in the formula. All right, so hopefully you can see how I've pieced this back together. Our slope is going to be negative 3, the y-intercept b that we solve for is going to go at the end here where the plus b is in our formula. All right, hope this helps out as you're trying to figure out tangent lines to graphs um, and taking derivatives along the way. Good luck.